My dear listeners, God has a secret message for you today so don't miss this important message. Watch this message till the end. God says, May God's blessings be upon you as you pursue your work with dedication and integrity. May He guide your hands and mind, filling your efforts with wisdom and creativity. May He grant you the strength to persevere through challenges, knowing that every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. Let His grace shine upon your endeavors, making the fruits of your labor abundant and meaningful, not just for yourself but for those you serve. In every task, may you find joy and fulfillment, knowing that you are using your talents for a greater purpose. As you continue to work with honesty and a generous heart, may God bless you with success, peace, and a sense of accomplishment. Trust in His plan, and may His blessings surround you, bringing prosperity and happiness to your life and all that you undertake. God says, Life is a journey of choices, actions, and consequences. Every action we take, whether intentional or unintentional, leads to outcomes that shape our experiences and, in some belief systems, determine the nature of our afterlife or future karma. The notion that our deeds are either commendable or punishable is deeply embedded in most religious and philosophical systems. This leads to the question, are the actions we perform in our lives punishable? And what role does God play in this process, the nature of human actions, from a moral and ethical standpoint, Human actions can broadly be classified into three categories, good, neutral, and bad. Good actions are those that benefit others, create harmony, and align with moral principles such as honesty, kindness, and justice. Bad actions, on the other hand, are those that harm others, disrupt societal harmony, or go against moral and ethical guidelines. Neutral actions are routine tasks or decisions that don't necessarily have a significant moral weight but can still lead to consequences depending on how they are carried out. For example, going to work is a neutral action, but how one behaves at work can turn this into a positive or negative experience. In many belief systems, these actions carry consequences not only in this life but also in the afterlife or in future incarnations. These systems propose that life operates under the law of cause and effect, what is often referred to as karma in Eastern philosophies or divine justice in the Abrahamic religions human responsibility and free will, one of the core aspects of most religious teachings is the belief that human beings possess free will. This means that people have the ability to choose their actions, make decisions, and navigate their own paths. While circumstances and environments influence these decisions, the responsibility for one's actions primarily rests on the individual. Free will empowers humans to shape their destiny but also holds them accountable for the consequences of their choices. In Christianity, for example, humans are seen as having free will, and this freedom is a gift from God. However, with that gift comes the responsibility to follow divine commandments and moral principles. Sin, which is the violation of these principles, leads to divine punishment unless repented for, similarly, in Hinduism. Individuals are believed to be responsible for their karma, 
the sum of their actions, and their consequences. Karma operates on the principle of cause and effect, meaning that good actions lead to positive outcomes, while bad actions lead to suffering. Are our actions punishable? The idea that human actions can be punishable is central to many religious and philosophical systems. The punishment for bad deeds varies depending on the belief system but often involves some form of suffering, either in this life or the next. In Christianity, bad actions are seen as sins that separate individuals from God. The ultimate punishment for unrepentant sin is eternal separation from God, often described as hell. However, Christianity also offers the concept of grace and redemption, meaning that through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ, individuals can be forgiven and avoid punishment. In Islam, actions are judged by Allah and individuals are rewarded or punished based on their deeds. The Day of Judgment is a fundamental belief, where each person's actions are weighed, and they are either admitted into paradise or cast into hell based on the balance of their good and bad deeds. The Quran repeatedly emphasizes the importance of repentance and forgiveness. Stating that Allah is merciful and willing to forgive those who seek his forgiveness sincerely, in Hinduism and Buddhism, the concept of karma governs the moral framework. Bad actions lead to negative karma, which results in suffering either in this life or future incarnations. The cycle of birth, death, and rebirth known as samsara, is influenced by karma, and the ultimate goal is to break free from this cycle by accumulating good karma and attaining spiritual liberation, moksha in Hinduism or nirvana in Buddhism. That, even in secular or humanistic views, the idea that bad actions have consequences is prevalent. In legal systems around the world, wrongdoing is punished by law, which reflects a societal consensus on what is considered immoral or harmful behavior. God's role in justice and punishment, the concept of God as a just ruler or judge is common in many religious traditions. God's role is often seen as that of the ultimate arbiter, who rewards good deeds and punishes bad ones. However, the nature of God's judgment and punishment varies across religions, Christianity. In Christian theology, God is viewed as both just and merciful. His justice ensures that wrongdoing is punished, but his mercy provides a way for redemption. Christians believe in the final judgment, where God will judge the living and the dead. However, through Christ's sacrifice, believers can seek forgiveness for their sins and avoid eternal punishment. Islam, Allah is considered both just and merciful in Islamic teachings. The Quran emphasizes that every individual will be held accountable for their deeds on the Day of Judgment. However, Allah's mercy is boundless, and those who sincerely repent for their wrongdoings can receive forgiveness. The balance between justice and mercy is a recurring theme in Islamic theology, Hinduism, and Buddhism. In Hinduism and Buddhism, while God may not play a direct role in judging individual actions, the cosmic law of karma ensures that justice is served. However, divine beings or deities in Hinduism are sometimes invoked for their ability to bestow blessings or remove obstacles, which can influence an individual's karma. 
In Buddhism, the focus is on personal responsibility and mindfulness in actions to reduce suffering and progress toward enlightenment. Judaism Judaism teaches that God is just and that his judgment is based on an individual's actions. There is a belief in divine retribution and reward, both in this life and the afterlife. However, like Christianity and Islam, Judaism emphasizes repentance, teshuva, and believes that individuals can return to God and seek forgiveness for their sins, redemption and mercy, while many religious traditions emphasize the punishability of bad deeds, they also offer a path to redemption. God's mercy is a recurring theme across various faiths. Repentance, seeking forgiveness, and striving to change our ways individuals can avoid or mitigate divine punishment. In Christianity, the concept of grace is central. Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross is seen as atonement for the sins of humanity, offering believers the opportunity for redemption. Through faith, Individuals can receive God's forgiveness and escape eternal punishment. In Islam, sincere repentance, Tawbah, is highly valued. The Quran states that Allah forgives all sins if an individual turns to him in repentance. The Hadith, or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, emphasize the importance of seeking forgiveness and correcting one's actions. In Hinduism, atonement for bad karma can be achieved through good deeds, prayers, and devotion to God. Similarly, in Buddhism, right action and mindfulness can help individuals overcome the effects of bad karma. The belief that human actions have consequences is a universal concept, whether viewed through a religious, philosophical, or legal lens. While our actions may be punishable, most belief systems also offer a path toward redemption and forgiveness. God, in many religious traditions, is both a just judge and a merciful protector, willing to forgive those who seek it sincerely. Ultimately, the purpose of these systems of justice is to guide individuals toward living a righteous life, one that aligns with moral principles and leads to harmony, both in this life and the hereafter. He wants to know what will happen next if someone contacts him. Maybe he will be more friendly and warm towards you from the start. Or maybe he will be more supportive the next time he is near you. He has heard rumors that you are getting your life back on track. Or he has noticed changes in you that suggest you will soon realize that you don't need him anymore. Soon he will change his approach and stop doing things the way you want him to. He is scared that he is losing control of his influence over how you view him and is very worried that he will be rejected or that he will feel ashamed or guilty about something. You make them feel insecure because the way they treat others is not the way they feel they can behave towards you. In front of you they lack the confidence and charisma they have in front of others. They just say something and get away with it, they are used to getting their own way, they are persuasive and charming. Some of you may experience rapid growth in areas of your life that have been causing you stress. You will have many people around you who are trying to hold you back or who try to get to you even though they know they have nothing substantial or valuable to offer you. They felt that they couldn't or wouldn't keep up if they helped you grow. Soon the tide will turn. 
Prices are going up now. I don't care if I can afford it, is what you hear. Thanks for watching this video subscribe for more videos.